Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bag Brigade. Ooh, I'm sorry I'm late with this. Heck of a note, you take a shower and then you start sweating. It's in triple digit heat here in Louisiana and it's really kind of doing a number on me. Anyway, I apologize for the late hour of doing our Mornings with Jesus daily devotionals. I know you all understand and I appreciate that greatly. Uh, today is Saturday, June 25th. I'm just going to just kind of do this quick. Um, it starts with our Bible verse and then our inspirational story. Uh, this is a longer verse than usual, so let me just get right to it, okay? We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be rewarded in our body. 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 10. Now our inspirational story. My friend Joyce came over on a lovely summer day to take a walk with me to a local creek. At the park across the street, a city employee drove a huge riding mower back and forth across the field. The sound roared, so we walked quickly to the corner, eager to get past it. But in the parking lot between us and the creek, a man was using a leaf blower. Once again, the sound escalated so much that we couldn't carry on a conversation. After getting around him, we spotted a bench by the creek, but a different man was circling it on yet another riding mower. We turned back, and now someone with a weed whacker blocked our path, just as a helicopter thundered overhead almost skimming the treetops. Anyway we turned, we were assaulted by noise. Life can feel that way sometimes. A problem confronts me, and I try to find a way around it, only to run into yet another obstacle. Following Jesus doesn't guarantee peace and quiet in my life as I serve him. I might still feel hard-pressed, perplexed, and even persecuted, but because of his life in me, I'm not crushed because he never abandons me. I don't need to despair. As I follow the loving shepherd, he will lead me to still waters. Sharon Hennick. Faith step. Find a quiet place. Write down any problems that surround you. Thank Jesus for being bigger than those problems. The heat. <laughs> you can't escape the heat. I thank him for not being outside but being inside at least there's some relief even though it's pretty hot even in here but when you live in an un, a, 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 a terrible uh, a not too good insulated place even air conditioners going full blast is not much help but um anyhow i hope this uh speaks to us uh i think it definitely helps me today so I think I thank those my brothers and sisters that have prayed for me. I appreciate that very much. I feel that. I feel your love and appreciate and appreciate it more than you know. I ask that we continue to pray for Donna, Rebecca, and Keith and anyone else that has asked us to pray for them that I may leave out. Um and uh we pray for those that don't have enough air to cool. Those people that are out there that are having to work in this, we pray for them because this is really a record-breaking heat, I think, that we're going to end up with this summer. And we need to pray for anybody that's stuck out in it. So please remember, don't leave your pets in your cars because that's, that's, you could kill them. Anyway, I love you all. Um, I thank you for bearing with me today. And I hope uh, that you are getting enough to drink and that you're cool. And I'll see y'all on the next one. God bless you. Bye.